Hello fellow teachers! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. May panibago na naman tayong uh, video tutorial tungkol sa paggawa ng module. Magbibigay din ako ng sample module in Mathematics 8. Alam ko marami sa inyo ang may uh, katanungan tungkol sa paggawa ng module. Paano ba gumawa ng module? Ano ba yung mga parts ng module? Ano ba yung mga dapat ihanda sa paggawa ng module? At marami pang iba. Alam ko na ang module na to ay malaki ang maitutulong sa ating mga mag-aaral sa darating na pasukan dahil karamihan sa kanila, ang piniling learning modalities ay modular. Dahil karamihan ay hindi sapat ang budget at meron silang kakulangan sa gadgets. So, sana sa panunood nyo ng uh, video tutorial na ito ay matulungan ko kayo at ma-share ko ang knowledge ko tungkol sa paggawa ng module. Pero bago yon ay magbibigay muna ako ng disclaimer. I'm not an expert in module making. The format of the module may vary depending on the subject matter and grade levels. I made this video tutorial to share my knowledge on how to craft your own module, especially those who are beginners. So, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope that at the end of this video, you will get some insights or idea regarding module making. I know that this would not be easy for us and it requires so much of our time, effort, and dedication. The module itself will be the fruit of our hard labor. labor. Enjoy learning and may God bless us all. Okay, ano ba ang mga kailangang ihanda sa paggawa ng module? Una, LM's TG. So, napakahalaga na meron tayong teaching guide kasi ito ang magsisilbi nating gabay sa pagpaplano sa paggawa ng module. Nandito rin yung assessment na mga i-include natin yung mga formative and summative assessment. Pangalawa, K-12 Curriculum Guide. So, alam ko na meron tayong kopya ng curriculum guide bawat subject. So, nandito sa curriculum guide yung performance standard, content standard, at learning competencies na target natin na kailangan mamit ng ating mga students. Pangatlo, references such as textbooks and websites. So, alam ko na meron na tayong ginagamit na textbooks. Katulad ko, Sa aking subject, ang ginagamit ko ay uh, Mathematics 8 Patterns and Practicalities or EMath. Pagdating naman sa websites, kailangan ay trusted yung websites wherein maraming nag-visit sa website na yon at na-assess na natin yung mga or na-evaluate na natin yung mga content kung karapat dapat ba siyang i-include sa ating part ng module na examples and discussion. So, napakaraming uh, websites na pwede natin gamitin. In my case, ang ginagamit ko ay uh, Khan Academy and uh, Purple Math. And then, last, number four is Milks and Budget of Work. Sa Budget of Work, nandito yung number of days taught, tapos sa um, most essential learning competencies. At nun lang yung mga gagawa natin ng module. Kasi this school year ay binawasan na yung learning competency, pinili na lang yung mga most essential. So, yung apat na yan ang dapat ihanda para makapag-start na tayo mag-craft ng isang module or simplified module. So, just a short background lang tungkol sa paggawa ng module. So, ito yung mga persons involved in making quality modules. Pag sinabi natin quality modules, expert ang gumawanan at nag-undergo siya ng maraming process. So, we're in, sino ba yung mga persons involved? Writers, illustrators, and evaluators. Pero this time ay talagang mag -e effort yung teachers sa paggawa ng kanyang module dahil ikaw na yung writers and at the same time, ikaw na rin yung magiging illustrators. Or pwede mo na rin evaluate yung ginawa mo pero titingnan natin kung sino pa yung pwede mag-evaluate ng ating ginawang module. So, ito yung mga processes as stipulated in the framework. So, planning, 
conference and mapping of the competencies to be utilized in the module. So, hindi pala ganun kasimple ang mga proseso na pinagdaraan, uh, na pagdaraanan sa paggawa ng isang module kasi kailangan nyo pang magplano mag-conference at imamap nyo pa yung modules na kailangan naka-align doon sa learning competency. So, crafting of learner's material in a five-day five day workshop. Yung mga expert pala ay nagkakaroon ng workshop or write shop na inaabot ng mga araw din para talagang totally ma- kompleto nila yung mga parts ng module para ma-distribute sa mga learners. And then, after mag-craft, intensive Take note ha, intensive evaluation sessions involving the top caliber learning resource evaluators. Talaga mga expert yung nag evaluate nung module kung naka-align ba sa learning competencies, kung tama ba yung mga nilagay sa bawat part ng module. Talaga nag undergo siya ng intensive evaluation. So, ito yung mga process. Nagkakaroon ng right shop. After magkaroon ng right shop, ina-evaluate. And then, kapag merong mga nakitang things to improve, nire-revise. Kapag ka-revise, ina-evaluate ulit. So, ganun po talaga kahirap gumawa ng isang module. Pero sana ay matulungan ko kayo kung paano kayo makapag-craft or makapagsimula sa paggawa ng simplified module. So, hindi natin masabi na quality module agad yung magagawa natin. Ano? Pero kapag nagawa talaga tong apat na process na to, makagawa tayo ng quality learners module. Pero this time, ang ituturo ko lang sa inyo ay simplified module or paano kayo makakapag gawa ng sarili nyong module. Ayan. So, ito yung sample module cover na ginawa ko and I would like to share this website with you. So, nandun na yung mga tawag dito. Yung mga layout na pwede nyo gamitin, you just uh, change yung mga text na kailangan nyo i-include. So, dito, pumunta kayo sa website na to, www.canva.com Com. Ayan. So, kung, ma kung mas gusto nyo ng attractive at catchy na layout or cover, so, pwede kayong gumawa daan sa canva.com. So, here are the suggested parts of a simplified module. First, grade level and subject matter. For example, in my case, uh, Mathematics 8 or Grade 8 Math. Ayan. Second, objective or learning competency. So, yung learning competency, it must be the most essential at makukuha natin to sa curriculum guide. Or kung meron tayong budget of work, nandun din siya. And then, we need to have the concept, yung mga what to process or this is the generalization. And then, fourth, we have the example and discussion, especially in mathematics in the discussion part, kailangan ng mga example. It can be illustrative examples. Katulad ng ipapakita ko mamaya since triangle congruence yung aking napiling topic. And then, exercises, of course. So, kailangan natin ng mga exercises. Yung mga kailangan sagutan ng mga students. Ayan. And then, evaluation part, it is in the form of, I think, summative assessment to sum up all their learnings and it must be uh, recorded and graded. So, yun yung mga simplified, uh, suggested parts ng simplified module. Pero ito yung mga parts ng gagamitin ko sa paggawa ng aking module. So, I have the title page. I have about the module. By the way, doon sa title page natin ay iba-iba yung title depende kung anong module siya. And then, learning expectations or nandito yung mga learning competencies sa learning expectations. Okay. 
So we have here the formative assessment. Probably it is in the form of ito yung mga test, mga diagnostic test na binibigay bago mag-start yung discussion. Then we have the examples and discussion. We have the generalization, summative assessment, and reflection. So, ito yung mga parts of my module na ipapakita ko doon sa sample na ginawa ko. And take note, hindi masyadong interactive yung ginawa kong module since ang napili kong topic ay This mastered competency ng Math 8 para ipakita ko na posibleng gawa ng module yung mga may hirap na topics. Where in dito ay nag-focus talaga ako sa content. Okay. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong teaching guide na kailangan nyo i-prepare. Halimbawa, Module 7, ang title ng napili ko ay Triangle Congruence. You have the Learning Outcomes, Content Standard, and Performance Standard na makukuha sa CG. We have here the Unpacking the Standards for Understanding, Subject Math 8, Quarter 3rd, Strand Geometry, Topic ayan, Triangle Congruence. Yung pinaka-topic ko is Triangle Congruence. Friend, it is module 7, triangle congruence. Then, under ng module, meron siyang iba't ibang lesson. Diba? Module 7, lesson 1, definition of congruent triangles. Module 7, lesson 2, congruence postulates. Module 7, lesson 3, proving congruence of triangles. Module 7, lesson 4, application of triangle congruence. Yan. Iba-iba siya ng lesson. And then, sa learning competencies, kailangan siya ay knowledge and skills. So, pwede rin namang may values or application. Ayan. So, apat yung aking learning competencies more on knowledge and skills. Then, kailangan natin ng essential understanding kung ano yung dapat maunawa ng estudyante. And of course, we have the essential question. How do you know that the given triangles are congruent? And then, we have here the transfer goal. Students will, on their own, solve real-life problems pertaining to stability and structure. Ayan. So, ito yung nilalaman ng mga learning outcomes. And then, letter B, planning for assessment. Ayan, ito naman yung mga product and performance. So, the following are products and performance that students are expected to accomplish with in this module. So, ito yung mga kailangan nilang i-accomplish. Of course, assessment map, makikita nyo, we have the pre-assessment or the diagnostic. Ito yung probably multiple choice type. Ito yung kalimitang multiple choice type sa math na 20 items. Ayan, bago mag-start yung lesson 1, nagkakaroon mo ng pre-assessment. Then, yung formative assessment, ito yung mga written exercises, quiz. Ayan, so testing for congruence, understanding, interpretation, explanation. Sa quiz, congruence, postulates, worksheet, interpretation, application. And then, after ng formative assessment, of course, summative assessment. Yung sa formative assessment, pwede siyang recorded but not graded. Pero sa summative assessment, recorded and graded. Ayan. So, proving interpretation, explanation, application, pwede siyang long exam, interpretation, ex explanation, application. And then, yung last natin ay yung self-assessment. Dito yung pwede yung self-reflection or journal writing. Then, kailangan natin ng assessment matrix for the summative test para malaman ng estudyante yung levels of assessment kung ito ba ay knowledge, process skills, or understanding para alam nila kung paano sila i-assess or kung ano yung i-assess mo. Matang, what will I assess? Of course, yung mga learning competencies na included dun sa module na makikita sa CG. And then, how will I assess? So, pwedeng paper and pencil test. Kunyari, part 1, items 1, 2, 3, 12, 13. Then, part 2, items 1, DE, 3, 4, and 5. Tapos, kung paano din siya iskoran, dapat malinaw din yung sinabi. And then, kung meron kayong na-include na performance test, ay kailangan nandun din yung rubric for explanation or rubric for grading, just like the criteria. Kung siya ba ay may clear, 
coherent, justified, and then rubric for drawing, kailangan included. Okay, let's start na sa ating uh, sample module. So, first part is the title page. Kung mapapansin nyo, gumawa ko ng title page. Again, i-visit nyo lang yung www.canva.com. Pwede kayo doon gumawa ng title page. Kung gusto nyo naman na mas simple lang, ay, ayan. Pwede kayong gumawa sa Microsoft Word. Just search for clip art or pictures na pwede insert and then the title. Two, about the module, nagawa lang ako ng simple na introduction about my topic, Triangle Congruence. So, this module is about the side angle relations in a triangle and inequalities in a triangle. As you go over the exercises, you will develop your skills to draw conclusions from the given statements. You will also learn to apply these concepts in solving problems. Para magkaroon ng overview or short background doon sa magiging takbo ng inyong module or discussion. Learning expectations. Ano ba yung ina-expect ng mga students natin na matunan nila at the end of the module? Ayan. So, this module is designed for you to, ayan, I have here four expectations or learning competencies na kinuha sa CG. And it must be knowledge, skills, or understanding. So, apat yung binigay ko dyan. Then, number four, formative assessment. So, dito nagkakaroon ng formation of knowledge. So, para masukat nyo kung ano na yung... Alam na mga student about the lesson. For example, what conclusions can you make from the following statements given triangle, triangle CDE? Ayan, meron ditong illustration. Ayan. Naglagay lang ako na ng mga statement. Then, magbibigay lang sila ng conclusion. So, pwede rin namang in a form of this one. Give the measure of each of the following. I have 10 questions. Measurement of each angle of an equilang, uh, equiangular triangle, each angle of an equilateral triangle, base angle sa panagsosilis triangle whose vertex is a measure of 50 degrees. Para lang ma-measure nyo kung ano na yung mga alam ng mga students about the lesson. Okay, and marami pang uh, kinds of formative assessment ang pwede nyo gawin. So, yun lang yung mga sample na binigay ko. And then, with the discussion part, ayan, for example, ay Module 7, Lesson 1, about isosceles triangle theorem. Ayan, of course, you need to start it with the definition of terms. And then, you need to provide illustrative example that will support your definition. And then, after that, about theorems naman to, nagbigay ako ng figure and then nagbigay ako ng statement nagbigay ako ng examples about the on isosceles triangle theorem so ito yung mga makikita natin sa discussion part and then sa discussion part ay pwede kang magbigay ng question form and then, you need to provide solution. And make sure yung solution nyo ay comprehensive or step-by-step -step process kung paano siya nakuha. Kailangan ay well-explained. Especially kapag ang kasama ng mga estudyante natin sabay ay wala silang, walang magtuturo sa kanila or, or walang tutulong sa kanya. Kailangan ay kapag uh, inaral nila yung module, it's somewhat ay mag sila or matututo talaga sila. Ito for number three. I provided again another problem and then the solution for that problem. Then after nyo mag-provide ng examples, ay pwede kayo magbigay ng mga try this activity just like this one. Try this out. Ayan, pwede na lang sagutan. That is somehow similar doon sa binigay nyong examples. Pero iibahin nyo lang yung given. Ayan, so nagbigay din ako ng somewhat same with our formative assessment, kung mapapansin nyo. Iniba ko lang yung mga given. 
Ayan, uh, lesson 2 about Converse of an Isosceles Triangle Theorem under Module 7, Triangle Congruence. Ayan, uh, illustrative example, then the definition of terms. Kailangan ay well explained sa ating module. Then, provide another examples. You have here the illustration and you have here the questioning. Then, after that, mag pwede kayo mag-provide ng try this activity related with the example given, pero ibahin nyo lang yung figure or yung ating given. Ayan, pwede kayo magbigay ng mga statement, then mga questioning. Or kung gusto nyo naman ay multiple choice type, pwede rin naman. That is another form of assessment. Okay, so yun po yung support ng discussion natin. And I made sure na lahat ng nilagay ko sa discussion part ay comprehensive. So talaga mauunawa ng mga estudyante when in terms of examples, illustration, definition of terms, and all. Yung mga try this activity. So lahat ay well explained. So dito naman sa generalization, ito lang yung mga... Uh, kung paano nyo i-conclude or paano nyo i-generalize yung pinag-aralan. Ayan, from uh, lesson 1, 2, 3 under module 7. Ayan po yung mga topic. And then, nilagay lang dan yung mga definition of definition ng mga terms. And then, eto na yung summative assessment. Eto na yung sum of all the learnings of our student do sa module. Somewhat, it should be parallel with the Examples and formative assessment given. Ibahin lang natin yung given. And of course, yung... Magbibigay din tayo ng mga tricky question. Ayan. So, what conclusion can you make from the following statements? So, nagbigay tayo ng ibang pangalan ng triangle. Ayan. C, D, E, N, R, S, T. So, eto din yung parallel nung binigay kong question doon sa formative assessment. So, dapat from the pre-test to post-test, dapat ay mas tumaas na yung kanilang score. So, that makita natin na may improvement. Ayan. So, magbibigay tayo dito ng mga problems, mga illustration. Ayan. Draw the figure to help you. First, meron ditong involved na skills. And then, for the reflection, the learners in their notebook, journal, or portfolio will write their personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. So, I understand that and then I realize that. So, I hope fellow teachers na meron kayong natutunan sa aking uh, video tutorial. Kung gusto nyo ng sample ng aking module ay, please comment down below your Gmail or DepEd account. And then, isa-send ko sa inyo yung copy ng module ko. And then, lastly, don't forget the references na ginamit. So, please cite all the references you have used on your module. So, textbook, the name of the textbook and author. Website, of course, you need to include the URL or the link and the author and the other references na ginapit nyo. Because we have a copyright claim, so we need to give proper credits to the owner of the content used. Para hindi tayo makasuhan ng plagiarism. So, that would be all for our video tutorial in module making. So, I hope na makakagawa na kayo ng sarili nyong module. Thank you for watching. Again, God bless us all teachers.